Right then, good morning guys. Let me just uh, throw some light on the subject, yeah? Or have a little bit of light. Yeah, so, right, torches. The uh, Blue Spot 5 watt 280 lumen LED cob light. Yes, nice. Okay, now uh, I've been test driving this, as I do with most things before I uh, let you know what's going on. And the difference between, say, a directional beam light and a, uh, a cob strip light is that you get a diffuse light. So it's dark now and you need torches. There's no doubt about it. You need that extra light so you can see what you're doing. One time we used to use oil lamps, didn't we? And then burning, um, burning torches, stuff like that. Very limiting. Not till too recently ago there was things like mag lights which weren't very good and the stuff we used to use in the workshops would be a light bulb in a cage but now technology for uh, leds and technology for battery uh, power and stuff like that is advanced and yeah i mean it only seems like 10 years ago that you couldn't really see what you're doing <laughs> now you can can't you and this this lamp here which is shining on me um yeah this is a good one and it's economical it's, like I said, it's blue spot, yeah. So it's 5 watt, 280 lumens, and you don't need much more when you're um, looking or inspecting or even just doing repairs on the car, yeah. So it has three settings on this lamp, and I'll run through them now, okay. You have a, uh, let me see, let me just get this up. You've got a pointer on the end, which is good for looking into uh, smaller areas, recesses, and around where shadows are, okay. That's pretty good, you can see here on the engine. And then you have a bright um, light, which is good if you want to have a big spread over an area. And then you have a little bit milder one because what you don't want is a lot of reflection and causing shadows over, well, wherever you're working, basically. So uh, it's not like the O-Light that I've reviewed recently. This is actually just right for uh, repairs and servicing inspections and stuff like that yeah so it doesn't matter whether it's summertime <laughs> or whether it's the winter time you're still going to have the same problem you are going to have to get into areas where you need to shine lights and uh, technicians will use torches all the time for inspecting service inspections safety inspections stuff like that it's only in the winter that you need to do it outside now this one i'm keeping in the car I've also just installed a USB plug up in in the uh, in the lamp up here, so I can charge it while it's stored while I'm running. Yeah, so I can switch the lights on and charge it, believe it or not, because I'm going to use the light circuit. But it's there all the time for me when I need to do morning checks, oil uh, uh, or whatever you know levels and stuff like that. And then of course it's here in the car as a an extra lamp that I'm throwing light on myself with, and of course. It has, this is the good thing about it, okay, I'll just put it onto red, it has red which is good for driving, yeah, so if I uh, just maybe put a mirror up there, you can't really see it, but you can just about see what's going on without getting a glare. Now, trucks have it too. They have a soft light, which is uh, uh, nighttime running lights, and that's exactly what this is, nighttime running, yeah? So I'll just bang it back onto uh, to a soft light again, yeah? That's good. Um, it has a lifetime guarantee on, on Blue Spot tools, but there are conditions with this. You have to register this torch and then go through the process, okay, when you buy it, and that would be on the packet anyway. Yeah, so yeah, it's got a, a USB plug thing, which is good now, isn't it? Because not only can you charge it up in the car, but you can also plug it into an adapter at home or at work. Yeah, and I like to charge this up at work. <laughs> it saves me on electricity at home. So I'm uh, impressed with that. A, because it's economical priced, and B, because it actually gives the right amount of light rather than having something that's ridiculously bright. Or having something that's a little bit too dim and just struggling to see what you're doing, okay? So, yeah, th big thumbs up with this one, yeah? So, if you're looking for a, a cob LED light, you do not need something like a, 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 <laughs> a lighthouse light, do you? You just need one that you can see what you're doing. Obviously, if you want to see at a distance, you want a tactical torch or a search and rescue torch. When you're doing um, small 
work contained work then you do need something like this cob led and yes i like it I like it a lot so uh, i'm impressed with this and lighting technology it's getting cheaper and cheaper remember a few years ago led lights were very expensive they're not anymore they're not anymore the prices are always coming down and the technology is changing all the time and this is what we do we buy stuff we use it and then we'll go up and upgrade it and this actually ha this helps development believe it or not because they're always looking for the best thing to provide us longer bigger battery life brighter lights at economical prices and so this is the way it is and yeah a big big thumbs up with this so there you go guys um <laughs> what more can i say about it go get yourself one yeah save yourself a little bit of money and uh, make sure that you got light for the winter time yeah all right see you later <laughs>